Well, first of all, let me say You're a solid. You go right against other guys. <laughs> well, I really was on coming this morning. Slick late rang up at six o'clock, and by five past six, here I am. <laughs> now, I just sort of thought to myself, well, Clint's always been given, you know, he's always ready to give a, a, um, a challenge, and I think he's given a challenge to me. And he's probably given a lot to, every, to everyone else a challenge. What about that, Clint? Uh, yeah. you, you, maybe you've given people challenges. <laughs> in any case, um, um, well, I don't know where I am actually. <laughs> I can't even read what I'm seeing. Um, you've got a torch there, have you? Oh, that's good. Um, in any case, first let me say how proud I am. No, I, no, this is important. No, first of all, I want to say how proud I am of my three boys. But because it's Clint's 50th, we're going to focus on him tonight. <laughs> and, um, and secondly, I'd like to say I delivered the goods. But when you deliver the goods, you never really know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so uh, but my own personal philosophy is everyone's got their own journey. So Clint's got his journey and everyone else has got the journey too. <laughs> now, um, I guess one could say that I had some influence on Clint's life up to when he graduated from uni. But after that, I consider that while he was developing the business, other people played a more significant and valued part of his growth and achievements and know, and know him better than I do, actually. These people include his father, Brock, his brothers, his mentors, his many loyal staff and friends here tonight. And in particular, my appreciation to Pat McCarthy, who started with him from day one. And I'd also like to thank, um, I'd also like to say thank Rosie, you know, like Yay! women's equality and all that sort of thing. Good old Rosie. You always know she's there, she's always very nice. And then, of course, Nanette, who's always been behind him and supporting him all the way. Now, um, one of, uh, I believe, one of Clint's stronger qualities is his ability to look and plan ahead. I know from only a few words in the last year to me, he exhibited this quality in ensuring plan, plan company work for the following year, just to ensure that all his workers had enough work to do. Uh, if I had to smile recently, I had a challenging situation and in he comes with, let's plan now, Mum. My response was, hey, mate, just one step at a time, please. <laughs> um, and now, at the expense of being a little biased, I have to add that these qualities of look and plan ahead may have been inherited in part from my grandfather, who many, many years ago was part of a successful planning plumbing business in Wentworth Street, Sydney. At some stage, my grandfather withdrew from the, from the business and set up his own building business, which is still operating to this day. Courage and foresight would be qualities to make this move. As a further acknowledgement, I can't forget my father, probably, who over the years gave Clint an earful of advice. What about that, Clint? Was that right? <laughs> yes. Added to a few moments later. Um, just a few more comments. Many years ago, Clint was drawn to the poem If by Roger Kipling. Um, the beginning goes like this. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make, it, make allowance for their doubting too. I believe Clint... I believe Clint does have the ability to keep his head in stressful times, but at the same time, listen to others and use their knowledge for the better. Right, Clint? You're ready to listen, aren't you? And then you get some of your workers, and if they say, you know, what about this, Clint? You're there to listen, aren't you? Huh? The final words of this poem go like this. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Clint, 
I consider you have achieved the final words of this poem. All enjoy yourself, everyone. <laughs> Um, just a few more comments. Many years ago, Clint was drawn to the poem If by Roger Kipling. Um, the beginning goes like this. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make, it, make allowance for their doubting too. I believe Clint... I believe Clint does have the ability to keep his head in stressful times, but at the same time, listen to others and use their knowledge for the better. Aww. Right, Clint? You're ready to listen, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> some of your workers, and if they say, you know, what about this, Clint? You're there to listen, aren't you? Won't you? Won't you? Class? 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 His final words, the final words of this poem go like this. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Clint, I consider you've achieved the final words of this poem. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All enjoy yourself, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>